Hi everyone. Today we are moving on to topic two of our chemistry, and we will be talking about atomic structure today. We want to look at the structure of the atom, the composition of the atom. When we are talking about matter and some theories of the atomic structure, we said atom is the smallest part of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. But we found out that this atom that we call the smallest is still made up of some particles, which we call the subatomic particles. These particles, they are the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. On the structure, we have this as the structure of the atom. Now, the outside that we have as a circle is called the orbit or shell or the energy level. Now, on this energy level is where you find the electron. We are still going to find out that there is nothing like orbit. We will find out what we call orbital later. So, this orbit has the electron. Now, inside this atom, we have the nucleus. In the atom, we have the nucleus. The nucleus has the proton and the neutron. The protons and the neutrons, they are collectively called the nucleons of the atom. Now, this inside is called the nucleus that house the protons and the neutrons. Now, when you want to represent your atom, this is a way to represent atom. The X represents the atom. A is the atomic mass. Z is the atomic number. The atomic mass is also known as the mass number. So the atomic number is the number of proton. Atomic mass, it is also known as the mass number. The mass number will give you the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. For example, if I have sodium, 23, atomic number of 11. The atomic mass is 23, the atomic number is 11. So the number of proton for this is equal to 11. The atomic number is equal to 11. The number of neutron, which is the mass number, which is equal to number of proton plus number of neutron. Mass number is 23. Atomic number is 11 plus the number of neutrons. So this shows that the number of neutron is equal to 12. So that is what we have. Now, take another example. If I have aluminum 27 and atomic number 13, what is the number of neutron for this aluminum? That is, the number of neutron is 14. Looking at this other example, let's, let's look at um, calcium 40 with atomic number 20, magnesium 24 with atomic number 12. So you can determine the atomic number, the number of protons, and the number of neutrons as well as the mass number. Now, these subatomic particles, they have some properties. These properties that you have here in terms of their mass, proton is one in, in measured in atomic mass units. Neutron is also one. The mass of proton and neutron, they are approximately the same. But proton is like 2,000 times greater than the mass of electron. Mass of electron is less compared to the mass of proton. That is why we say 1 over 1840, that of proton. Now, the charge, protons is positively charged, neutron is neutral, while electron is negatively charged. The charge is a charge of 1.6 times 10 raised power minus 19 coulomb. We'll see how we get to come across the charge as we move on with the class. Now, the mass is also measured in kilograms. You can see the mass of proton and the mass of neutron, they are approximately equal. But the mass of electron is far, far less compared to the mass of proton. So that is dealing with the properties of the atom. We are moving on with this class. We are going to cover all these topics with the class. And you try and solve all the questions I will be posting online. And leave a comment below. In the